when you do preserve things, they feel like treasures. When they're in those little jars, they're like these gleaming, glowing things that you've somehow managed to kind of keep. And I think there's something about preserving because you're, you're keeping something and you're altering it slightly and the flavor keeps on altering as it sits in that jar. It's something about the passing of time and what happens to the flavor over time. I feel the most nostalgic around food. I have a memory associated with almost every ingredient. Cherries to me are Christmas holidays in, in Australia. It's like school breaking up. It's like a really long eight weeks of doing nothing but going to the beach and getting on the bus in your bare feet. Mangoes is the same. It's like the first box of mangoes means Christmas to me. Squash reminds me of my grandmother. She was quite fierce, my grandmother. She had this kind of very strong nose and she had a purple rinse in her hair. She was probably only about 45, but she looked about 90. And she would cook us roast lamb and roast pumpkin and pavlova. I remember this kind of very kind of 1930s weatherboard house that kind of literally had three ducks on the wall. And we'd go there and we'd sit in this kind of very sort of dark dining room and, um, and eat roasted pumpkin. You know, I've really tried to hold on to memories because it's, I don't have the fabric of my childhood around me. Um, I left it and I kind of left it quite abruptly in a way. I kind of got on a plane and I just didn't go back. It takes you back to the season. It takes you back to exactly that time when cherries were perfect or pumpkins were in season. And I love the way that nature and the seasons really, really take care of you. And when you come back, it's like the same time next year.